I think the reason people are kind of fascinated with the 80s right now is probably two different reasons. One is people just have a tendency to look back at a previous time and be nostalgic. You know, I'm a kid of the 70s and 80s, and for us, it seemed like pop culture was looking back at the 50s. Happy Days, Grease. There's something about the, the fashions and the music that came before as a new generation of people discover them uh, a, they just, you know, they, you're gonna fall in love with it, but then they, you know, start to repurpose it as their own. So I, I think it's cyclical, and I think we're in that time right now with the 80s. I think I'm happily benefiting from that current moment of nostalgia, given that Bridge and Tunnel is set in the 80s. Uh, you know, there's that old adage about write what you know, so certainly my experiences have been from being a Bridge and Tunnel Long Island kid who spent his whole childhood and early adulthood, like, going into Manhattan. And it was on those trips into the city where, you know, my professional and creative dreams were born. It is the place where not just bridge and tunnel kids come, but where everyone comes to pursue their dreams. Uh, because this is where the impossible can come true. It's an endless resource of just great stories. And this show, you know, I've got six different characters who are all doing a version of what I did. They want to be a designer in a band, a photographer, a dancer. Where else do you go to pursue the big dream? NYC.